I'm excited to be at Soft Week because we're excited to be part of this community now. I've uh, been looking through all the possible military applications of this technology and a great many of them fit very perfectly within the Special Forces community. When you look at the covert aspects, when you look at the light force aspects, small teams of uh, operators, it's a technology that is at the smallest audible signature of any manned aviation. And we haven't even optimized the acoustics. So there's still a long way to go. Here at Soft Week, we have our developmental aircraft, the Blackfly, we're actually showing it, we're demoing it, we're flying 24 flights this week. It is the very same technology that we have in the Helix, which is the uh, civilian version of the same, it's going to production. It's all electric, eight motors, 20 minutes, 20 miles. But that very same technology has a lot of applications in the public safety space and in the defense space. You know, it's been super excited to be able to engage with the soft community for the very first time. Uh, the company's been in development of this technology for over 13 years. And it was just a couple years ago that we started flying human flight as a matter of routine. And now it's really real. I mean, we've built and flown over 40 aircraft. We have close to 50 pilots that we've trained. And it's, it's becoming a matter of routine. The technology is real. You can see, you can touch it. And we actually get to show it off here, which is incredible. Uh, the feedback we've gotten is we've got a technology that's got potential some mission applications that we can do better than anyone else. And we're looking at covert insertion, covert extraction. We're looking at, uh, well, contested logistics and both manned and unmanned or even optionally manned missions. He's coming in at a, at a uh, low pitch hover right now. And he's actually gonna come to a complete stop. And he's gonna dip down close to the water. He's gonna demonstrate the vertical flight capabilities of the aircraft. Now you're gonna see him yaw. He's gonna spin around while he goes up and makes a departure towards the next canal. That right there is my favorite maneuver. And off he goes. Now he's settled into cruise flight. You'll notice it got very quiet. You can barely hear it now. And he's down at about 60 feet right there. If five years from now, you're going to see much larger versions of this aircraft in production that are hybrid powered, that have ranges of hundreds of miles and cargo capacities of thousands of pounds and are optimally manned. So you can imagine a fleet of these or a constellation of these being managed even by a single operator and supporting a far flung uh, force uh, with logistics and supply on a daily basis, but also capable of carrying people if the mission requires it.